The doctors found she didn't have any drugs in her system, but there are other substances the hospital doesn't look for. The medical staff making a note about a concern over two toxic chemicals. On July 16th, an ambulance is called to the Jackson County Jail in Brownstown, Indiana. 23-year-old Tanisha Chappelle is found naked and in dire condition. Less than three hours later, Chappelle would be dead. But from what? Nobody's child go behind the jail cell and not come out. A new medical report obtained by Way3 News state doctors were concerned about a possible poisoning. It it's very upsetting. I, I think about if that were my child in there and um, how I would feel about that. According to the documents, jail staff admitted she'd been throwing up since the night before, but they didn't call an ambulance until 3 in the afternoon the next day. By that time, she was yellow, in pain, and only able to moan. Once at the hospital in Seymour, doctors put her on IV and order labs. It's now 4.15 and her pulse starts to elevate, breathing gets shallow and she is now unresponsive. She goes into cardiac arrest. By 5.30, her blood pressure goes down to critical levels. Her life ends two minutes later. Among those 107 pages, doctors write they're concerned about a possible poisoning by ethylene glycol or methylone. According to the National Institutes of Health, both are extremely toxic to humans and can cause death. Both are found in household products like antifreeze. Only the toxicology report, which hasn't been completed yet, will confirm the truth the only solace Chappelle's family has left. They have just moments, just little moments, you know. We don't get them phone calls saying I love you. We don't get those kisses. We don't get those hugs. We don't get that anymore. She was loved. The doctor said she had what's called metabolic acidosis, meaning she had too much acid in her body. That's something that can happen if toxins are ingested. But right now, we don't know yet for sure if and how that happened. Natalia Martinez, Wave 3 News.